a charming welcoming committee. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello? Cat got your tongue, gentlemen? Would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Don't trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. Not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are! To your health. Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency! Lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence! We must wait for our escort! No need. Have no fear, for I am here to defend you, my lady. I've been scullied. How so? My Admiral laid me off. My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. Excellency, welcome back to my modest shop. It is an immense honor for me to be of service to such noble clientele. What might I do? Come 
sir, good people. Liqueur and wine from the continent. Tear for the alcohol. Well, I'll be damned, it's Captain Kurt. Manfred! Still a quartermaster? Always, as you can see. What can I do for you? We've come to find you regarding the merchandise that Kurt was taking care of. Ah, the commander's cargo, yes. I was told that had come in. And so he's got you working on this. Lucky Kurt. It helps to have friends in high places. Is everything in order? Alas, no. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They're well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled a quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him, then? No, of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse, as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? They're already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. A colored mark will stick out for them to find. But they need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I... No. My ship's being used to move your contraband, and now you want to sneak into one of our warehouses. Kurt was given the order. If we want to help him, we don't have a choice. I don't like this. But, since I've been sacked, let's just say that this will be a little bit of revenge. How are we to know in which warehouse we'll find this damn cargo? I'm afraid we're going to have to take a look at all of them. That won't be necessary. My entire cargo has been placed in the warehouse closest to my ship.
I need a bit of practice. Attention, soldier! Let me pass. I must see the chief of your village. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever could be so funny. Now, who would you be to seek an audience with the governor? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnir. My mother is Amal, the chief of our clan. I am here as an emissary of my people, and I must see your chief, your governor. So you are a princess, then? A what? Let her pass! Your Majesty, I shall present you to the Governor. Come. Princess, Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank you for your help. Honor Manawi, do you need something? The first time you saw me, did you really think I was a native? Aside from the way you dress, you resemble a native. I have never seen an Onol Manawi amongst the Rinagze before. Is it so surprising that I made this mistake? No, I understand. And I hope that this singular appearance makes me more attractive to you. Perhaps if your difference wasn't merely physical, but your heart is evidently the heart of a Renaixe. Anything else? I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. He died many cycles ago. But this memory is still painful. So we usually avoid the subject. What happened to him? He was killed as he tried to escape the lions who wanted to capture him. My mother never really recovered from it. This is one of the reasons why she decided to go to war. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Dear cousin, what is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Mal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, Princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. 
I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, the time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. <laughs> Desarde, I have a favor to ask. Very well, I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well, I'm like him, a donation to the sea. My family also gave me to the Nords. I don't know anything about my real family, except that they are probably affluent and from the congregation. When I was born, the Nords and the merchant princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. The mystery of my origins has now become an obsession. I need to know where I come from. If I were patient enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander and then I would be told. But since being laid off, such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Mine must be in the harbor office in New Serene, and it must contain my family name. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Of course. But you will have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any knots to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the Norts are still my family. Don't worry, we'll be discreet.
Desade, if you have a moment. Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Uh, bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the price of wisdom, Desade. Greetings. You look like someone who would know how to use a blade. If you're looking for the best steel, you're in the right place. Weapons, armors, ammunition, I have it all. And if you have a special request, my associates will be glad to make it for you. Menawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me. My chief sent me to trade some items with your village. But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod Irony, the Ironbacks, the warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well, stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlo Redar on Olmenawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Come 
closer, good people. The cure is Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbour office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbour office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search. It's a proven technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get some sleeping pills. Then we'll go see Dieter. Have you seen? Hello, Your Excellency. What can I... No. What can I pour for you? I heard there are some interesting activities down in the basement. Really? Well, that'd be news to me. It was a friend of mine who told me about it. A friend who loves his cards. If you're also a player, then yes, it might be something you'd appreciate. You'll even find pleasant company as well, if you're feeling alone and have some coin to part with. Anything else? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun.
Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dieter, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. I did not think for a moment to request this service without offering you fair compensation for your efforts. Ah, now you're speaking my language. If those are the terms, I'll even put gunpowder in it. <laughs> so then, we agree? Yes, that's fine. Tonight your friends will receive their delivery seasoned. Now, give me the sleeping potion. Thanks to Dieter, you should be able to slip into the Harbor Master's office after dark. But you should still dress as one of us, just to make sure you avoid confrontation. Good idea. I'll see to it. Dieter's girls will arrive later tonight. We can wait here if you're ready. We will wait for Dieter's girls to do their work as planned. Then we'll enter. Very well. It's definitely the safer option. Dieter's daughter is gone. Your guard should get a good night's sleep now. You should go. I'll wait here as planned. We can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disardi.
It's blocked. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit, I had no idea they'd given a son to the Nords. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco, but growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Norts care to admit. Good day, my lord. Disarde. I'm the emissary of the congregation on Tierfredi. And cousin to the governor. I know exactly who you are. Enchanted. I am Admiral Cabral, and I see that you're accompanied by one of our own. Hardy winds, Vasco. Hardy winds, Admiral. You are still angry with me for keeping you ashore, are you not? You'll one day thank me for it, but I don't suppose you've come to talk to me about affectations. What can I do for you? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral.
Here are the crates we've been looking for. It appears that one of them has been broken. It's full of weapons. This is strange. I thought we armed the guards on the island. I wonder what the commander is up to. Never mind. Let's mark these crates and be gone from here. I need a bit of practice. Sir, good people. Hello, Your Excellency. We have found a way into the storehouse and we have marked all of the crates. Perfect. I shall ask my men to follow the same path. One of the crates was damaged. I was quite surprised by what I found in it. Really? To be honest with you, the commander never told me what was in them. I received the order to deliver them as soon as Kurt accomplished his mission without any further instructions. For what it's worth, I thank you for your help. And I hope you can accept this modest token for everything you've done. If you have another moment, Your Excellency, I would like to ask you for your help. We have a serious problem that I did not hear of until recently. A problem that concerns you closely. I'm listening. I was told that some of our soldiers have been extorting large sums of money from the town merchants under the pretext of financing their protection. Are you telling me that the Guard is extorting merchants in our city? Indeed. Some merchants have been assaulted, and one of them has even been found dead. I hope you don't intend to conceal this information. 
If my cousin learns of this... Oh no, certainly not, Your Excellency. We intend to punish the guilty party with the greatest severity. But the merchants refuse to give us the slightest testimony. The guard frightens them, and rightly so. We won't be able to put a stop to these crimes without outside help. <sighs> Count on me. I'll take care of it. I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? Thanks, but I'd rather walk. Yeah! 
On all Manawi. Do you need something? I'm asleep. Greenblood, there's something I would like to talk to you about. I'm listening. I recruited a young man for the guard a few months ago. Talented. Very talented. And honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well, in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard? Precisely. And your opinion has weight. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? I don't have time now. Can it wait a while? Anything else? I must leave you. Let's see what you've got. 